Hi everyone, my name is Darsh Kithani and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use XN Spy to set up geofencing. Geofencing is essentially a digital fence that is set so that every single time an employee or a child leaves it or enters it, you'll be notified immediately. So without any further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. Alright everyone, so the first thing I want you to do is open up your web browser and go to cp.xnspy.com. On the preceding screen, you can enter your XN Spy login credentials and then sign in. This is how the XN Spy dashboard looks like. So scroll down to the bottom of the page and select the settings tab from the sidebar. Now this is the adjust remote control settings page. Find the add watch this locations tab and open it. Now we're on the add watch this locations page and from here you can click on the add place button in the top right corner of the page to watch this in new location. Now this is the final page. To watch this a place, enter its address and you can also name that place whatever you'd like. However, there are a few more settings that you can change. Like you can decide if you want to get an alert for the check in or check out. You can also change the radius of the watch list locations to 100 meters, 200 meters, 500 meters, and 1000 meters or 1 kilometer, which is going to determine when you are going to get an alert. For instance, if you select the 100 meters option, you will get an alert notification as soon as the monitored users enter in the 100 meters range of the watch list location. To save this setting, click on the save button on the bottom of the page. Now please do note, you can set alerts for as many locations as you want and you can even keep separate settings for each one of them. Also, every location alert that you receive from the targeted device includes a date, time, and address stamp. In addition, XN Spy geofencing features will not be compatible with the iCloud version of this app. If you are using XN Spy on an iOS device, make sure that Find My iPhone is turned on or you will not be getting any GPS activity from that monitored device. And on Android, the built-in location settings need to be turned on. And that's the end of this tutorial. I really do hope that you guys took something from it. Now, if you have any questions or queries, please make sure to drop them down in the comment section down below. And that's about it. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.